Hey guys, Help 101 Season here, here to help. And today, basically, I will be showing you guys how to set up your Xbox 360 to your PC. Now, for some of you guys, you would like to stream your videos, your music, your pictures, etc. And you just don't know how to do it. Well, in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to do that. It's very easy. Just bear with me. I'm doing this for Windows 7 users. Um, it should work for Windows Vistas. XP is pretty easy. It's done through the media, through the Windows Media Player. So I will link videos in here for older versions if I don't cover it for your system and everything like that. So the first thing we're going to go do is check your firewall. So to get to your firewall, you're going to go to Start, Control Panel, System, and Security, and your firewall. Now, sometimes your firewall will not block the sharing, but sometimes it will. So basically, if you want to, you can go and play with the firewall, turn off certain things, or turn it off completely. But I do not recommend you keep it off all the time. So if you're on your Xbox playing video games and you want to listen to music from your computer, turn it off. But when you're done with your Xbox or you're going to go surf the web, turn it back on so you can be protected. Okay? Now we're just going to go ahead and go back. And we're going to go ahead and go to Network and Internet. Then we're going to go to Network and Sharing Center. Then you're going to go ahead and click here. Now, in here, basically, you don't do anything in here yet. Come right here to Media Sharing. Now, for some of you guys, your Xbox should automatically be detected. So, if you do not have your Xbox on at this time, turn it on. Now, for some of the people that's got their Xboxes on right now for, and everything like that, basically, go to your music system or your video on your Xbox, and sometimes it automatically detects your computer. Now, the fact is, it's trying to connect it, but it's not connecting. So, what you're going to go ahead and do is click Turn On Media Sharing. And basically, it's going to enable everything to be shared. So, if you see here, my Xbox is automatically detected. Now, now you need to do a little bit more customize, a little bit more customization to it. So for some of you guys, you're gonna go right here to customize. It's gonna say customization, customize for different people. It's gonna say edit. So you're gonna click there. Now it's gonna say use default settings. Now, if you go to your Xbox and try to load up, try to load up your videos or your music, it's gonna give you a little error saying you have no music or no videos, but you have them in your computer. This is what you have to do. So you have to unclick this. Make this as that, make sure it has all rights, and make sure this is all rights, or you could just select which ones that you want to stream. I usually keep it on all rights, and click OK. Now, if you see now, once you click OK on here, it should start streaming your, your information. Now, to get the best quality out your stream, you're going to want to turn this on, come down a little bit, make sure this is set to 4 56 make sure that's enabled then you're gonna go ahead and click your public file make sure that is on do the same thing they're both the same files but basically they share different capabilities and now you're gonna click save changes now your Xbox should be streaming and you should be seeing this when you go to your music or anything now so now I'm gonna show you guys where's the public file at and how does the public file work so we're going to exit out your control panel. We're going to go to your music file. Now, this is where all your music is stored at. So, it is connected together. So basically, you can just go ahead and right click on here and click this. And basically, it will show you that the public file is connected to your My Music file as streamed as one. So, you can make this as a default, as a public file is the default basically but just leave it where it's at it's streaming and it's doing really well so just click OK now when you drop a music in here right and it's gonna take you about two minutes to see it on your public music file usually or if you want to just shrink directly drop it into the public file I'll show you guys how to get there so you gotta do is go to start go to your computer it should be located under your C drive okay then you gotta go to users public and here's the public files at. so you have the public documents the public downloads it's just different things in here so here's public music and if you see here all my music is listed here so now 
you should go to your Xbox to see if it's streaming. And it should be streaming the music very clear, very easy. Nothing really hard about this. Now, if you guys are having any problems connecting this, I have no problem setting up times and day with you guys to actually do this for you. So if it's really becoming a difficult process for you, just set up a time and date with me and I'll no more than help to help you guys out. Thank you guys for watching this video and please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Alright guys, help 101 season out.